Hey guys, and welcome back to Halo Wars. In the last episode, well, we had some fun and games getting the first skull. Um, luckily, that is actually the hardest skull in the game to get, so I'm not that cut up about it. It wasn't too bad. You just have to be quick. Anyway, we managed to take back Alpha Base. Um, well, what was left of it anyway, which, to be fair, wasn't much. So let's continue. Let's just take one last look, see. The Hierarchs grow impatient. We can delay no longer. What if the infection defiles the relic? I care not for your little life. Open the relic. I wonder what infection they could be talking about. Sesame. What made you choose my observation deck as your lab, Professor? I like the view. It adds perspective to my work. <laughs> Forge doesn't think it's safe for you to go down there yet. He's quite insistent. I can be quite insistent too, Captain. I can take care of myself. Any idea what it is we've got down there? It's all theories right now, and I'll know a lot more once I get down there. I'm approving the mission. But the slightest sign of danger and I'm pulling you out. Is that understood? Understood, Captain. Hierarch, the humans are closing and will soon be upon us. No matter. The information you have gathered here is most appetizing. However, we must protect what we have learned here. Set the charges and destroy this place. Destroy this holy relic, surely you just- The journey requires sacrifice! Set the charges. Return to us. Our patience is not infinite. It will be done. A very old school arbiter there. Serena, we need to re-establish Alpha Base before we can proceed with the mission. Not Captain, quite the one the we know and love from is offline, the Halo and trilogy. The protocol is in effect. If we rebuild, the lockdown will end and the doors will open. Projection for new base Right. Ready. Well, let's rebuild this place. It's uh, kind of in a sorry state. Let's drop our main pod in here. These are resources. We can get um, move our men close and they will start auto collecting, which is nice. Now, to get the skull on this level, we need to kill 20 jackals. So, that's not actually that hard. In fact, there are more the than enough. Up and running again. Uh, let's get supply some supply pads. pads. So I can send down materials. Supply pads bring resources from the Spirit of Fire. They will use drop ships to, uh, well, drop off uh, supplies. The center is online, but it can't house Marines. We'll need a barracks to call in the troops. Barracks uh, is pretty self-explanatory. That's where we train... Uh, ground forces, mainly soldiers. In fact, only soldiers, I believe. Yep. There we go. We, we can now train Marines. A military presence on the ground. Rolling. Okay. This place is nice and secure, Marines. more or less. Okay, let's get building now. Oh yeah, we can't do anything yet until we uh, get our men ready, ready. Five squads of Marines isn't really much. Each squad of marine houses four men, however there is an upgrade that we can get in a minute that will allow them to have five men. Uh, which is a nice little boost of um, uh, firepower. That's our supplies, which is our resources. That's how much power we're generating. Power is basically your tech level. I think maximum tech level is four. Uh, and that is our unit cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supply pad. Highlighted the area where Supply pad. Found the structure. And a reactor. 
Reactor is what we use to improve our tech level. Supply pad. These Complete. pads here are our turrets. Let's get some gun turrets going. How much are they? 250 each. They're quite expensive. Complete. Come on, baby. There we go. Right. Let's go outside. Actually, before we go outside, we're going to want to build up our forces a little bit more. Alright, so we're now tech level 1. That gives us uh, access to grenadiers. Oh no, it doesn't. Grenadiers are a level 2. Okay. That's fine. But we can get the new blood, which will give us an extra man in every squad. Flashbang ability is also quite nice. Equips flamethrowers with active flashbang ability that stuns uh, any enemy infantry for a short time. Never really use it, to be honest. It's probably quite useful, I suppose. Our gun turrets are coming up. Which is quite nice. Gun turrets can be further modified. You can add a flame mortar, which adds bonus to anti-infantry. You can add rail guns, which adds Turret bonus complete. to anti-vehicle. Uh, and missile launchers, which add bonus to... Oh dear. To uh, air. Anti-air. New blood. Research. That wasn't great planning on my point. On my uh, end. But that's okay. Your base is actually quite resilient. Especially against this kind of assault. Right, we've got some more money. Let's upgrade our supply pads. There we go. As you can see, our resources are coming in extremely slowly at the moment, but that will increase supply as we upgrade, upgrade our supply pads. Uh, upgrading supply the supply pad upgrade. just simply adds another docking bay, so you can have two ships down at once, which is nice. Let me get the RPG ability for our marines, which um, is an upgrade to the uh, grenade ability. Right, okay, not Turret bad. Complete. More resources required. Let's build these, and then we're ready to head out. Right, we need to pull in some more resources, really. What's that? 225 to upgrade. Okay, we won't be. We won't take too long to reach 225. Done. All right, guys. Marines, good, to go. good, 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 good. That's what I like to hear. You can increase the uh, unit cap, but I'm going to be 100% honest. I can't remember how we increase that. How much to upgrade to a fortress? That will give us two additional build locations. But yeah. Uh, also, the more buildings you have around your base, the stronger uh, your base's hit points are, or the more hit points your base has. There we go. Let's upgrade. Now, the reason I'm mainly staying here by the base is so you can see the little animations and whatnot, because some of them are quite nice. Though I don't think there's an animation for the fortress. I think it just like springs fortress up. Upgrade yeah. Complete. But what that does allow us, we could get a vehicle depot. Which isn't an awful idea. If we get a vehicle depot, we can get some big, powerful vehicles. Which we will certainly be doing. Anyway, let's let our money build up for a minute. Let's go and explore. So escape cancels that. That's interesting. Let's drop a save. I don't know if there's a quick save command. I'm not sure. Eh, that was a poor time to leave the base. We're about to be attacked. Now your turrets are fairly capable, more or less, against basic Rolling. minimal things. Okay, base is alright. Let's go back. Okay. Now we want that advanced reactor built in so we can build more powerful vehicles. Come on. God, I forgot how slow it is when you start resources. Mm, let's be cheeky. I'm picking up lots of covenant chatter around your position. Oh, you know. Looks like they are setting up defenses. Well, they can try. Oh, ghosts! Right, let's get some grenades out. Attacking. Grenades are what we want. Rolling. When in Attacking. doubt, get the frags out. Rolling. Now we could. Bum rush down there, but let's grab that resources before we do anything. 
Let's get the heavy supply pad and just get us a. Ooh. Ah, oh, we need a tech level of two. Yeah. There we go. Take cover of those down pelicans. Move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fortify your men in these uh, areas, which gives them a huge defense boost. Also, they will throw grenades, I believe, uh, automatically, and they don't have the uh, quite the cooldown that they would have otherwise. All right, reactor is now improved. Let's try and just clear these guys out quickly. Yep. Now, later on, we will get an ability where we can heal our units, but that is sadly quite a little way on. Right, more grunts coming in. Let's remove this filth. Come on, there we go. Put some pressure on the fuckers. Damn, look at these guys. Crawling like rats out of their base. Well, I think the best thing we can do is do something about that base. There we go. Killed four jackals of 20. Ah. Talk of the devil. There indeed is their base. Yeah, they haven't built it up. Yes, yeah, isn't that sweet? Let's Our destroy primary it. mission here is to reach that structure. Destroying that base is a secondary objective. Yeah, but it's a worthy cause, Ready I think. Roll. Right, kill those. Forge can handle them, hopefully. Rolling. 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 Base Come on, Forge. Shit, now they've got our base. That's okay. We can handle this. There are some more jackals there. You know what? Look, get rid of these guys. Come on. There we go. Thin the herd. Stand together, men. Nice. Okay. Now, the thing with Forge is he is actually pretty damn good at anti building activities, which is nice. Alright, come on guys, get in there. Right, whilst we're doing that, let's go back to our base and see what we can do. Let's build Vehicle Depot. That's upgraded. Let's get some upgrades going. Let's get the RPG ability. And the flashbang ability. And the grenadier ability. Because why not? We can afford it. Oh god, here we go. Hunters. Not great. Okay, we maybe have to fall back here. Damn! Forge is down. Forge is down. I think we've uh, prematurely attacked this base, to be honest, but that's okay. It's all good. Alright, let's get Forge back up. And we can launch some rockets at this thing. Ah, they've still only got the grenades. Oh, there we go. That was quite good. We actually got the RPG ability. Uh, as they use their grenades, so it looks like they actually got to double use, which is quite nice. Uh, right, let's get some scorpions. Oh yeah, baby. Scorpions are the boys. You can get cobras as well. Once we've got some scorpions in the action. Nice, good stuff, Forge. Uh, fight these guys off, seriously. I thought Forge was back up. He kind of is. Alright, let's burn these guys out. Come on. There we go. Flashbang the bastards. Come on, man. Stand together! I made short work of them. We killed some more jackals as well, which is nice. Once this... Whoa, where did that rocket go? Honestly. Which moron was in charge of that one? Yeah, as you can see, they're not the most accurate with their rockets. I actually think you can upgrade that a little bit later on. Aha! Scorpions are ready to roll out. At least one is, anyway. Napalm adherent. Yeah, slow-burning, sticky napalm. Burns enemies for several seconds after the initial attack. Very nice. Ah, we need tech level 3 for this stuff. Well, we're not going to get tech level 3 here. But... Alright, let's get the these way. men back. Let's fall back. Way. Wait for the scorpions the to the get here. Good stuff. How are those scorpions doing? Actually. Enemy engagement. Let's get that. 
Right, you boys are screwed. Come on, Scorpions, get in there. Tear these guys up. Unfortunately, they are engaging hunters, and hunters are kind of designed to be anti-scorpion. Good enough. Right, let's reinforce. Can we... Yeah, we can build our base now. It is available. Let's get a base in here quick. Another scorpion ready to roll. How's that other one? The other one's almost ready. Four scorpions should be able to handle pretty much anything they throw at us. For now. Right. Station complete. Let's get some turrets up before we do anything. Like so. Let's get some supply pads. Guys, fall back. You can see how powerful scorpions are. Complete. just ridiculous. Luckily, the scorpions are better, well, the actual chain guns on the scorpions are better than they are in the uh, main game. In the main game, they are useless. Oh, hello. Now, obviously, we do need some men. Some infantry. Because the only infantry can get past barriers, but we are going to leave this for a while. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Base under attack. This base is under attack. Did we upgrade these? Get anti-missile systems. Should help out against the bloody dropships. There we go. Now we're not going to build anything else here. Let's get that. Let's get another Turret power improved. facility. Let's Turret improved. get a barracks. Turret improved. Turret improved. There we go. Reactor that is damaged. Supply pad upgrade. Sadly, we can't actually repair that yet. More resources required. Damn it. Fortress upgrade complete. Nice. All right, let's move those guys over here. Few more jackals and we can get the skull. Fueled up. Online and rolling. Nice. Turret complete. Let's get you upgraded. Um what do we need? We want another another vehicle depot. Um I suppose we do have the barracks there. And we get another supply pad. Supply like so. pad upgraded. You can see our supplies are flying in now. Once that's built, we can pump out everything we need from this location. Vehicle depot. Nice. Complete. Reactor improved. Now, the canister shell uh, is really good. Equip scorpions with a secondary canister shell attack. This attack is devastating to any infantry in its blast area. It fires a big napalm, well, not napalm, kind of like a shrapnel um, weapon, which is really cool. Um, for here, let's get the flame mortars. Because if this place does get attacked, it's only going to be infantry. Now that's what you call firebase. There we go. Now, Turret improved. Everything is coming Turret in as improved. fast as it possibly can. Turret improved. Right. Let's... Turret improved. More resources required. Damn, these are expensive. I mean, of course they're expensive. The UNSC Cobra is an incredibly effective anti... Damn it. Uh, Anti-vehicle threat. It's fast, agile against vehicles. Canister shell research. But also has an active unpack ability that turns a Cobra into a long-range artillery unit that is excellent against buildings. Yeah, it is useful. So now we've got the canister upgrade on those. Let's get another two, and we're ready to roll. These guys have seen better days. There we go. In fact, you can use your canister ability. Alright, 
Oh no. Maybe not. Right, now we can start clearing the area out. We've got one more scorpion to wait for. Actually, we don't need to wait for it. Let's move. Okay. Why use hogs when you can use scorpions? That's the real question the here. Obviously, these uh, scorpions are absolutely devastating. We still have more unit cap available. But that's okay, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, look, little grunts. There's a canister ability, which is brutal. And it does recharge fairly quick. Yeah, we don't care for your warthogs. Alright, so light them up, guys. No prisoners. Alright, now you may be wondering where the skull is. The skull is down here somewhere. Scorpion fueled and ready. At least I thought it was. I'm sure the skull's by the base somewhere. Ah, there it is. Enemy right, engagement. let's build. Just get anything, get some marines. Grab the skull. Yeah, we don't really need to worry about enemy engagements because these guys are just going to clean house regardless what happens. Alright, get in there. Forge's ability is pretty good. There's like a mental shotgun blast. At least, actually, I thought his shotgun blast was better than that, to be fair. There we go, all done. Right Waste away. that. Did we get the skull? Moving. Pick that thing Moving. up. Oh, actually, I suppose, really... We've got the look daddy. When grunts die, their methane tanks always shoot off. Yeah, let's go for that. And grunts explode into confetti. We're definitely going to have that one. Now this game does have achievements, um, but the achievements, there we go, uh, the achievements don't actually work very well on the PC. Um, they should pop up, but they just don't. Which isn't the end of the world, because I've got them all anyway. Right. At least I'm pretty sure I got them all. Right, we've got some more men there. Go collect the resources. We don't really care too much about the resources. We have more than we were ever going to use. We're also at the max tech, tech level. I think three is max level. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Right. Here's some extra reinforcements. Play nice. Thank you. Thanks for the reinforcements. Right, let's keep clearing these guys out. You can see how much armor um, they actually give us. Or give anything, really. Yeah, we're over our command limit way. now, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. On the way. Next point of call is over here. Now, I believe somewhere here is the black box, if memory serves. Um, I can't see it, though. I'm trying to remember where the black box was now. What I could do... It's not over here. Moving Go out. back to Alpha. Might actually be behind Moving here, out. perhaps. Oh. Moving out. Okay, I didn't realize they could get it that way. Moving That's out. quite cool. No, I guess not. Let's see how the rocket launchers do. I'm taking this thing down. Mm. Yep, they do actually take it out before it unleashes its first wave of troops, which is quite nice. Ah, there's another objective there that we need to do as well. 
That was fairly inefficient of me. On the move. Right. Local units. Local units. Let's roll. Tank on the move. Moving out. No point in grabbing these resources. They're completely unnecessary. Come on, boys. Let's show these bastards how the UNSC roll. Hunting for targets. Yeah, we're hunting for targets, all right. Oh, look at that. Some little ghosts think that they can play with our scorpions. I got news for you guys. Now, there is quite a juicy upgrade for the uh, scorpions later on. Damn, look at these guys. There we go. Flatten them. Um. All units. Moving out. This could be problematic. Oh, that's all right. They're actually, that's kind of stupid on their part. They're actually attacking me. They are charging. That's really dim. I wonder, can we entice these guys out? We're going in. All units. Oh, one of them went up like confetti. No, that's not going to work. Damn it. Yeah, this is one problem with this level. You do need a lot of marines. Um, we can't actually get any more marines. Because of our unit of cap. Um, right, let's get the marine infantry. Send them over here. Whilst the marines are going over there, we are going to go and smash this place. Enemy engagement. <laughs> Enemy engagement destroyed. Yeah, it's be enough marines to take this place. Moving. We're going in. I mean, ghosts are pretty powerful. Oh yeah, the AI pathfinding is pretty atrocious too. That's something that's worth bearing in mind. Ah, maybe it's here. Yeah, you can see they're getting blocked. This is something that does become quite frustrating. I don't know why the uh, pathfinding Base is as attack. bad as it is, but uh, like I say, it's not it's not a huge deal breaker. But there are certainly some some parts of the game where it's irritating as hell. Okay. Now, of course, we've got the canister ability, but we don't really need to use it like that. Ah, there's the black box. Sadly, we do need infantry to get in there. If we blow up these refineries, the enemy air pads will go with them. Nice. Yeah, these guys don't have a chance. Don't have a chance in hell. Just keep raining the pain. All units. Yeah, most levels have multiple objectives, to be honest. Uh, loads of bonus objectives. Uh, every skull on every level is a bonus objective, so... But look at the firepower these things have. It's absolutely insane. The turrets do turn quite slowly, but eh. They've got to have a weakness, I suppose. It wouldn't be fair otherwise. Refinery destroyed. Right, well that's... Made short work of that. Uh, where are our troops? Where are these guys? All units. Moving. Yeah, unfortunately. Moving. Oh, they're stuck over here. Moving. Moving. Okay, well, I guess we'll do this bit first. Moving. Moving. Unfortunately, Moving. infantry are extremely slow. Local units. Local units. Right. Let's get our warhogs ready to crash this place. Yeah, sadly, um, I am assuming because obviously it's a console game, um, the interface is really, really Moving. poor. The uh, whole selection of all global enemies, etc. is just, it's frustrating. You can't really effectively split your units and, and have multiple battles going um, because of the way the game, I mean you can, but it's Moving. really, really cumbersome. Oh, hello. 
Play hard and die young. Hmm, that sounds like sound advice. And by sound advice, I mean silly advice. Right, let's get those guys over there. Now we just have to play the waiting game. For like seven hours. At least everything here should be fully upgraded. Yeah, Cobras are cool. Anti-vehicle. I like that. Scorpions are just basically anti-everything. Scorpions are the main UNSC vehicle. They can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the toughest enemies, but are mobile enough to get where they're needed quickly. There is an upgrade to those uh, later on, I think, that um, upgrades them significantly. So you notice how there's only four here when we have seven. That's because the others are stuck there. Not really sure what these Covenant Energy drums are, but we're going to destroy them anyway. Because it would be rude not to. I do love how, how smooth this game is. This game really benefits from being 60 FPS, I think. Oh, did we do this? So we must have done this. Although there's no real reason to actually clear this place out. Right, I think we're just about there. Oh yeah, we need all units. Moving. We need our soldier boys to actually go through that force field. I'm pretty sure they stopped using force fields so much because they are kind of frustrating. There's very little point uh, in building infantry. Oh forges up on the sniper tower. Yeah, there's very little point in building uh, or training infantry um, when you can just build these guys. Yes, sir. Locked in. Unlike most games that kind of have a, a rock, paper, scissors kind of approach, especially strategy games, this game doesn't really have that like that. Um, I mean, to a very basic degree. It's not like infantry beat air units, air units beat ground vehicles, ground vehicles beat... Um, Infantry, kind of like uh, Command and Conquer. Uh, whereas in this game, just certain units are just rubbish, and certain units are just OP. Come on, Marines, get it done. I do like the way you see the bullets bouncing off. It is really cool. Right, let's pull the infantry back. And send these guys in. Yeah, I thought that ghost would change his mind. Now, if I remember, we actually get an upgrade later that gives these rail guns. I know they get upgraded to, uh, like, well, they get massively upgraded, but I think it's rail guns that they get. Oh, look, you can see the confetti. That's so cool. All right, make it rain, baby. There we go. This is what we're talking about. No mercy. Let's fuck these guys up. I love the confetti. It's such a cool, cool skull. Some of the skulls just make the game much, hard, much harder. And some of them make it much easier. Those explosives. And Our some are just for fun. Over. Get to the detonator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on it. We're on it. Let's use the canisters. Canisters are so much fun. Massive nail bombs, basically. Huge frag grenades. Good work. Prepare for new orders. You got it, boss. Look how many resources Alpha we have. Gates, this is Bravo 29, heavy inbound. I've got the professor aboard. Ooh, the professor. Right, and there we go. We've got silver for that. You know what? Silver's okay. I don't mind. Where we would be losing points hardcore will be uh, on the on the part time. I'm never really a fast uh, RTS player. I mean, I have beat most of the part times in the past, not all of them. Um, I usually like to take my time, more of a relaxed kind of uh, attitude. But there we go. I do like to turtle in a, in most of my uh, RPGs, RPGs, RTSs. Um, but obviously, you can't really turtle in this game. This game is just constant all-out attack. 
So, anyway, there we go. We've made it to the relic, and we've destroyed the Covenant, and uh, we've ruined their plans to bury the place. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to find out what exactly they were doing. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.